Dun, 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 dun. You guys, today I'm doing my zero waste haul with you, which I think is so funny because you think of zero waste and you're like, it should be like an anti haul. But this is going to be my little haul of things that I am replacing or swapping with things that are more single use items so that I can incorporate a more eco friendly zero waste low waste lifestyle. This is definitely a journey for me. I'm taking baby steps. I'm not perfect by any means. I still use certain single use products. There's a lot of things I'm still using up in my house that I'm gonna continue to use until it's all gone. So if you see me using the coffee pods that you put in and then throw away, it's because I still have a bunch of those. I still have Ziploc baggies. I still have aluminum foil. I have Q-tips. Like I still have a lot of things in my house because this is a new journey for me. So hopefully you guys can keep that in mind and just know that I'm doing my very best. No one's perfect, but we can all take little steps somewhere and that's what makes a difference. Hopefully this video will inspire you to maybe make one switch. Maybe something that you see in this video will kind of spark something and be like, oh, I think I can try that. You don't have to change your whole lifestyle to be more eco-friendly. If you wanna just do one thing, that one thing is gonna make a difference. And if everyone just did one little thing, the world would be a better place. So just keep that in mind. I tend to be on the opposite end of the spectrum. Like if I'm gonna do something, I kind of go like 110%. I've kind of been like that my whole life. I never like to, just uh, get my foot wet. I like to just jump in. Everything that you're gonna see here is something that is being replaced with something else that I've already used up. There's a police helicopter, literally, <laughs> looks like it's flying straight into my balcony window right now. There has been so much crime in the area I live in right now. I feel like this is like a whole video. You guys are probably gonna hear this helicopter, it's so loud. Ah, uh, gosh. Uh, that I can do a whole rant right now about this. In Southern California, they passed some new law, so they let a lot of people out of jail and prison that didn't have like criminal charges or something like that. They also switched the laws in this city that if you are like going in and burglarizing a home, that instead of a felony offense, it's now just a misdemeanor and they will let you go. How is that even possible? I don't know, but I guess in our city, that's supposedly what's happening. And so there has been so much crime in our city. People are burglarizing houses in broad daylight and there's constantly been like helicopters and police activity and just like craziness. I literally feel like I live in a really bad area and this used to be a really good area. Now it's not also so sad there. Oh my God, I could totally make a whole video. I'm sorry, I'm totally ranting you for like, just get to the point, but it's just really sad. The homeless problem has gotten worse here. It's just, I feel really, really bad for the homeless situation. Also kind of scared because I don't really feel safe walking my daughter, you know, on the streets now because a lot of them have, you know, like psychiatric problems and they're not on proper medication. And so they can be really dangerous and violent. And so it's just, it's been a whole, whole thing over here in this little beach city that I live in. But you guys probably don't care about that. And you clicked on this video to watch a zero waste haul. So I'm gonna be quiet and get into that. This basket, by the way, is from the thrift store. And I am actually going to be setting this up myself. You guys, this is a bidet from Tushy. This is supposed to be like the best bidet. It's supposed to be easy to install. And basically it helps you be more clean when you go to the bathroom because it shoots water and sprays water on you. So I'm gonna be installing this on my own and that should be really entertaining. So maybe that will be its own video. But let's get into some of this stuff. Okay, first and foremost, I am going to show you guys something. So I was, running out of my shampoo in fact i'm totally out of it now and i bought a sampler pack of these ethique is that how you pronounce it hair sample shampoo and conditioner bars so they look like ah! they look like this they smell pretty good i'm not into like really strong scents ever since my last pregnancy i can't do strong scents they make me nauseous and give me a headache kind of never went away not weird anyway i ran out of shampoo so i bought this because i was like oh I don't know if shampoo bars are gonna work for me. And I tried one so far, it's this like Healy Kiwi one. It's supposed to be good for like sensitive scalps, which I have, and it sucked. Like it did not work for me. And these have really good reviews too. So this has already made me not like shampoo bars. 
but I also got these shampoo bars and this is from a company called Meow Meow Tweet. Like how cute. This is what the packaging looks like. So cute. They actually draw like their own designs or whatever. So this is the lavender coconut shampoo bar and I'm actually really excited to try this one. This one smells really good. This is what it looks like. This is what how you wash your hair. This is so crazy. So for people that are like not into zero waste, you're like, what, you wash your hair with this block of soap? That's weird. It definitely is. I'm really hoping that this works though because I would love to be able to use bar shampoo as opposed to the shampoo in the bottles because it's just so much waste. All that plastic ends up in our landfills and it's just not good for our environment then this is the lavender hemp conditioner bar these are all vegan cruelty free let's see to use rub bar directly on water soaked hair massage product through hair to the ends this is what the shampoo bar looks like they all smell really good i just again i'm very skeptical of the shampoo bars and i so far have not had good luck with the first one that i bought that had really good reviews so i'm really really hoping that these are good and i'm hoping that I can use them. So I will keep you guys posted. If you guys are interested in like a review on some of this stuff, let me know. Okay, next up from the Meow Meow Tweet is this skin cream. This stuff is pricey. I think it's like $64 for this jar. But again, what I loved about it is that for one, it's unscented, so I like that. This stuff had really good reviews, like raving reviews. The certified organic, fair trade, vegan, cruelty-free. The ingredients are sunflower oil, shea butter, mango butter, pumpkin oil, rosehip oil, tamanu oil, and vitamin E. I'm just gonna try a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, ah, feels really nice. My skin is very sensitive though, and there's only one face moisturizer, or facial moisturizer that I really love. And so I'm wondering how I'll like this, but it is really nice for like hand cream. $64 hand cream. I don't know. It's is it worth it? I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you posted. Okay. Next up is this coconut cacao vegan lip balm. It's in this plastic packaging, which I really like. It's better than using plastic. Smells really nice. I've already used it once. It's really, really nice. I really love this stuff so far. I haven't used it that long, but so far I really love it. You can apply it to your lips, your hands, and your body, and it's really quite big. I think this is $14. I can't remember how much the shampoo and conditioner is, but this is a really good brand. So if you guys want to check them out or try them out, I would recommend them, especially for this. Speaking of lip balm, I was going to make my own lip balm. I bought these like in a pack. I talked all about this in a get ready with me. I bought the ingredients for everything. This is what it looks like. I made this myself. It fucking sucks. This is terrible. I totally messed up the recipe. So that did not go well. I'm gonna have to crumble this out, re-melt it and figure out the new recipe and reuse these little 10 things because it did not go well, which is why I'm so happy that I have this coconut cacao vegan lip balm because this stuff is awesome and I'm using this in the meantime. Okay, next up, you guys might think that this is interesting. These are reusable cotton swabs for your ears and for like makeup and stuff. So I know a lot of people out there, especially if you went to medical school or nursing school, are like, you're not supposed to use Q-tips. It's not good for you. There's a reason there's wax in your ear and it's supposed to keep bugs out, but I think that was from like, you know, a long time ago when we slept outside. Nowadays, people, a lot of people use Q-tips. I know I do, I'm addicted to them. The second I get out of the shower, I have to Q-tip my ears because I don't know, I feel like it's like dries them out, gets all the gunk out and it just feels really good to me. So when I saw these, these are by a company called Last Swab. They come in a bunch of different colors. I got these ones and these are so cool. Could you imagine if you didn't have to buy Q-tips anymore? It's cool because this is a little carrying case that it comes in. This is actually considered their beauty Q-tip. So again, this is reusable. You do not throw this away. You just clean it with soap and water and then keep using it. They're like little silicone tips and then you just stick them back in here so you can use that for like makeup or whatever these ones have a different tip on them i don't know if you can see that very well I should get closer to the camera so that's what these ones look like i've actually already used these and i was really surprised at how well it actually got some of the earwax out and i just used my towel that was kind of damp from me getting out and then just like wiped it like that i think some of these the 
tips come off these are adhered to them i did hear some people that were like be very careful because when you're using that the tips come off and they can get stuck in your ear <laughs> these ones don't do that at least not that i know of and i was like pulling pretty firmly to get the wax off of the q-tip from my towel the damp towel and it worked perfectly i didn't even have to wash this with soap and water so that was really convenient the one thing i will say about these is you know how like when you use a q-tip it feels like you dry your ears out it does not feel like that when you use these it still feels like wet in there because there's not paper on this it's just silicone so it is definitely different and it will probably take some getting used to feeling the difference between them but quite surprised at how these work so far next up are gardening seeds you're probably like that's not zero waste but guess what it is because instead of going to the grocery store and buying fruits and vegetables you're actually growing them at home and not only is that a lot healthier for you but you save a ton of money so these are from a company called seeds of change i got beef steak tomato and i plan on growing all this pretty soon here and i'm so excited i got cilantro zucchini this is like an all lettuce blend I got dinosaur kale. I really like kale chips, so I thought that could be fun to make. These are um, snow peas, broccoli. We eat a lot of broccoli in our house. And then last but not least, colorful beets. And this I'm so excited about because I plan on making, like attempting to make my own all natural makeup with these different colored beets and like arrowroot powder. And I think it'll be really fun and interesting. So definitely stay tuned if you wanna see how that disaster goes. And then I also got some reusable wooden sticks that i can put in the garden these 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 are amazing when you go grocery shopping and so, you know how they have those like plastic bags that you like pull and you put the produce in these replace that so that you're not wasting all that plastic and they're reusable you can wash them and they even have the tear weight on here on like the tags so i got different ones these are from seeds of change i'll link everything down below by the way if any of you guys are interested different sizes to put like oranges apples you know bananas whatever so that's really cool just a reusable bag and then do you guys know, know what these are for my new toilet paper uh just kidding i was gonna make reusable wipes for snow i actually got these from dollar tree i am storing them in here for now because i was using them just in my downstairs guest bathroom for people to use to when they wash their hands to like dry them off I've noticed they don't work very well for that because they're very thin and I don't like them for like hand towels but I think they would make good baby wipes they're not the best quality but I was trying to save money so we'll see how these goes I'll, how these goes how this goes I'll keep you guys posted so reusable baby wipes also could be used for toilet paper we'll see how that goes so that is everything in my zero waste haul. I've also been doing little things like saving all of my glass jars to use to store dry beans, grains, rice, stuff like that. Also using it for water. I actually really prefer drinking my water out of like these little glass jars that are reused from like peanut butter and tahini and stuff um, as opposed to like my regular cups. I don't know why it fits in my hand so nice and it just makes me want to drink more water. I really like them. I really quickly just wanted to add this into the video because I just got this package. So this is from a shop called Eco Mended. They sent a bamboo toothbrush. This I believe is a cognac sponge. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know, but that's really cool. This, I think there's a bar of soap in here and I think it's like a loofah. I don't know, I have to like play with that. They sent some compostable dental floss that's like plastic free, some reusable, uh, like I think there's like makeup white pads or something. We don't do glitter in this house or at all because I'm like traumatized by it. It scratched my eye really bad. So I'm kind of scared of glitter, but that was very nice of them to send this. So I'll be donating that. They sent a reusable razor with some blades. A little scared to try that. <laughs> I'll most likely cut myself, but excited to try it. This is a soap saver So you put the soap in there and I think like it helps like to loofah it and then they sent some soaps and all very eco-friendly So thank you so much eco mended for sending this over. That was really really nice of you So I will keep you guys posted on my zero waste journey Let me know what was your favorite thing or what's something that you do that's super eco-friendly that you want to share with us Let us know down in the comments. Thank you guys again so much for watching I am sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video Mwah.